day after Thanksgiving, and I want to get something done with this turkey because I do not want that to go bad. So we're going to freeze dry a bunch of this white turkey. And I am going to do a tray and get 10 servings out of this. And for this video, it's going to be turkey breast with mashed potatoes and gravy all in one meal pouch. So it should be pretty good. I want to get rid of this skin. That's part of it, but you know, I don't want to freeze dry it. So what I want to do is using that, the grid, I'm going to put two and a quarter of a pound of turkey in each square. That would be one serving. There you go. So we want to uh, try and squeeze that in to each square. That way I'll get 10 servings. And it's going to be all divided up for me so I don't have to worry about separating it after it's freeze dried. Alright, kind of like that. Okay, so there's my two and a half pounds of turkey breast. Not a lot of turkey left over after that. We ate, we picked out yesterday though and all day today. So let me get this mess cleaned up and we'll move on to the next one. I'll stick this in the freezer and get it frozen solid. Okay, so when I made my potatoes for Thanksgiving, I went ahead and did a whole five pound bag for two of us, knowing that I wanted to freeze dry a bunch of mashed potatoes. The way I made these was five pounds of potatoes, one stick of butter, one eight ounce block of softened cream cheese, and milk. I just added it until it was the consistency I wanted. So that's all there is to this. So we're going to make Try and get two trays out of this. I don't know if I'll succeed on that or not. Alright, let's see if we can get another one out of there. Put these in the freezer until they're frozen solid. Okay, so the first tray had two pounds, and this one has one and a half pounds. So what I'll do is when I package those, these, I'll take one square from the first tray and one square from the second tray, and they should all balance out then, kind of. So that's the way we'll package it. So I ended up with two, three and a half pounds of potatoes going in the freezer until they're frozen solid and then into the freezer. One more thing to tray up. Okay, so now we got my gravy. And how I made this gravy is I took the drippings from the turkey, put them into a saucepan, and brought it to a boil, added some water to it, just to thin it out a little bit, get it nice and, this is a really strong flavor, I did no seasoning, just the dripping. So added water to it, and then made a slurry out of uh, cornstarch and cold water. Added that to the boiling gravy, and it thickened up nicely, as you can see. And that is my gravy, so I got three cups of gravy here. Homemade turkey gravy, and it is delicious, let me tell you. It is really, really good. We'll get those into the free this into the freezer, frozen solid. Next time, time you see all this, it'll be coming out, and we'll be packaging it up and doing a taste test. I look forward to doing that. I'll see you then. Okay, there we go. There we have it. My Thanksgiving Day leftover meal. One tray of turkey, two trays of mashed potatoes, and one tray of gravy. So, let's get this packaged. What we said we was going to do is package two squares of mashed potatoes per meal. And we were going to take one 
which was a full square in that one. We, we didn't quite get a full square in there, so we're going to take one from each tray. And I'm using these smaller bags for the mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't know exactly what size they are. They're just some that I had laying around. I'm going to go ahead and zip those shut as I go. We'll have to come back and put O2 absorbers because I'm going to do those all at one go. So, let me get these potatoes done and I'll be right back. Alright, here's my gravy. We're going to put one square per pouch. And I'm hoping that that's going to crumble up fairly easily. Let's see how they crumble up. Oh yeah, that's good. And again, I'm going to just go ahead and zip these shut because i got so much to package. And I don't want my O2 absorbers being exposed too long so we'll get these done 10 pounds of the gravy and I'll be right back all right so that leaves us with our larger pouch for the turkey breasts and this is the uh, double meal pouch from topmylar.com and uh, they're quite a little bit bigger than the uh, single meal pouches which I normally use but I should be able to get the turkey and then one of each of those pouches, the potatoes and the gravy, all in this one bigger pouch. So that we'll have a total meal there. And what I'm going to do is just take turkey from one of these squares along with the crumbs. that in each bag and then we're going to take one pouch of potatoes and one pouch of gravy and we'll seal that all up and put O2s in that in a minute okay so let me get on with that and I'll be right back okay so now we've got 10 pouches like that what we're going to do now is open up my O2 absorbers. These are 300 cc's. I'm going to drop one in with the turkey. One in with the uh, potatoes. I guess I didn't write it on that one. We're going to try and squeeze as much air out of that as possible because we got to get that inside the pouch with the turkey and one in with the gravy. So they each got their own individual O2 absorber. I've got to do a heat seal on both of those. So let's get these put in real quick and then we'll get those heat sealed real quick. Okay, so I got those pre-packaged. Just wait for that to heat up, my heater sealer to heat up, and then we'll throw a heat seal on each one of those bags. I'll be right back. And my last one. Gravy, potatoes, and 
fold the gravy in half like that. Cover it in like that. Eight and a half like that. Shove it in like that. So they're sitting in there like that. With the turkey on the bottom. Just lock it shut. Throw a heat seal on it. That's all there is to it. So, let me let this cool down and we'll do a taste test. See how that all comes back. See you in a minute. Alright, let's take this out and see how it held up over freeze drying. pouch which is my gravy my potatoes my 300 cc o2 absorber and my turkey is in the bottom so I'm going to put this is going to be way over the top on this but I'm going to put a half a cup of gravy um, of water in there That's a half a cup of hot water from my Keurig. We're going to seal that up. And let that sit for two minutes. While that's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and open up these. And there's the snow tubes over. So that's the gravy and the taters. All right, got another minute. <laughs> okay, so that's been two minutes with the turkey. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain off the excess water in that. Looks like that took about a quarter of a cup of water. So we're going to take that quarter of a cup of water and we're going to put that, because it's got turkey flavor in that, in my mashed potatoes. Don't want to lose that flavor. I'm give that a like stir. They're a little bit dry, so i got some more hot water here. I don't want to make them too runny. Alright, for now that's what we're going to put in there, which was the quarter of a cup from the turkey and about an eighth of a cup from the, uh, almost, yeah, about an eighth of a cup from the uh, other stuff. So, we'll put that other eighth of a cup in there, or a 
quarter of a cup, so now I got about an eighth of a cup still left in that. Hopefully I didn't make that too runny. It kind of looks like I did. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, tastes good. Now let's see how my taters look. They should be done. Everything should be done now. Let's see. Do we want to add more to that? Yeah, I'm going to add that other eighth of a cup. So we ended up using... Oh, John. Why did you do that? <laughs> we ended up putting a half a cup of water. And that's all right half a cup of water in here this might be slightly too much I'll let you guys decide on that because these are just a little bit runny alright so let's dish it up take my turkey Unfortunately, turkey is very delicate <laughs> when you uh, freeze dry it, so we're not going to get no big breast pieces. All right, oh, there's my fork <laughs> and my potatoes. It's like, what the heck happened to my fork? Well, let's scoop out my potatoes. Yeah, they look all right. Now these are mashed potatoes that I made for my Thanksgiving dinner. So they got butter and cream, a little bit of cream cheese in there. And milk. Alright. Mm, that tastes good. And let's put our gravy on. One more mix on the gravy. This kind of looks pretty good now. Pour that over my potatoes and my turkey. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That looks good. John, you did well. All right, let me get a close-up of that. Okay, let's dig in, see how that came out. Turkey. Hmm. Rehydrated perfectly. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh yeah, John, that's a winner. Definitely a winner. So, mm, mm, mm. I soaked that turkey for two minutes saturated in water and probably another two minutes while I was mixing up everything else and it has come back very nicely. Not too dry or anything. Just right. Oh yeah. The half a cup of water was just about perfect for my potatoes. I was worried because they were looking kind of runny. But no, they came out nice. What do we say we put a quarter of a pound of turkey, cooked turkey.
I didn't kind of, kind of wait, but didn't kind of wait because we did, what we do, one tray of two pounds and one tray of one and a half pounds of potatoes, and then you divide that by ten, you kind of would come up with how much potatoes we did per serving. So that is turkey. Turkey breast is not is nice and moist, not dry. Mm -mm. Gravy came back. We could have made that a little bit thicker by not adding as much water. But I thought that was a pretty good consistency for gravy. Certainly full of turkey flavor. That gravy I just made with the uh, drippings from the roasted turkey. You added some water to it. Then made a slurry of cornstarch with uh, cold water, brought the uh, drippings and water to a boil, then mixed in my cold slurry with it, continued to boil until it thickened up, which it was pretty quick. Mm. And we ended up with a really nice flavorful gravy. So the next question I guess would be is how long has it gone to the store? I don't know. I overdid the O2 absorbers on everything. I got them sealed in a nice 7 mil Mylar bag, meal pouch. I'm going to say 10 years, but that's just a guess. Who knows if I'm going to be here 10 years from now to let you know. <laughs> We're only given the day that God allots us, you know. <laughs> but if he's willing, I will probably try and keep one to put away and we'll see, check it out. S certainly in several years. There you have it. I know, I just did a video that everybody who owns a free store probably did this week, which was leftover turkey. But, you know, that's what I had to do to to get into my freeze dryer, so that's what we did. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like and subscribe my videos, and I thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.